Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Clifford Payne from Amigo Power Wash. Back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about marketing. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests about, you know, how I get jobs and everything that I do to get my clients and my leads. And so I'm going to hook y'all up with a brand new video. We're going to talk about all that. So this video here is going to be more geared towards guys that just started and trying to get going, trying to get their name out there. Um, I'm going to list 10 of the things that I do, you know what I'm saying, to get customers. Uh, it's pretty simple. All these right here, pretty much nine of them, it's more, you know what I'm saying, like get it from the mud type where you don't have to have a lot of capital. Um, if you're coming in, you don't have a lot of capital, these 10 steps right here, uh, you can implement them to your business and start getting customers. So with that said, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you know I, uh, when I put up a new video, like and comment below. So number one, we're going to start with get legal. So you starting out, you know, you want to make sure you got everything in line. You want to make sure you register your business, you know what I'm saying, with your state. You want to make sure you uh, get your EIN number and uh, from the IRS. You want, you want Uncle Sam to come knocking at the end of the year, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> So, uh, and also you want to make sure you get your business license. Uh, it's not a pressure washing license per se. It's more like a business license down here in, in uh, Florida. We call it business tax receipt. So basically it allows you to do business in your county or city or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not recommended, but if you're going to be doing commercial jobs, a lot of commercial jobs ask for that. Number two. You want to make sure you get your Google business listing. It's free. You don't have to pay nothing. You don't have to run the ads or nothing. Basically, it's just your profile online. So when customers are looking for pressure washing or power washing or roof cleaning, you'll be in included in the search, depending if you're within, you know what I'm saying, the area they're looking for. Um, a lot of times, you know, I get hit up from customers that's like 30 minutes away from me. You know what I'm saying? It depends on where you're ranking on the map or where you are on the uh, organic listing on uh, Google. But you want to make sure you're in there so you can be included. It's things you can do to get more customers attracted to it by having, you know, being active on it, posting your pictures, posting videos, posting articles. All that goes in play as far as getting, um, you know, found on Google from your business profile. You want to make sure you always get your reviews from your customers. I know some of them don't leave them, but always push, always push to get those. Number three, we're going to go with a website. So you don't have to start out with a fancy website. When I started, I started with a Wix site. I built it myself and you can do it too. Pretty much it's template. You know what I'm saying it's a template and you fill it out how you want to. You can move them around. All that, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to do. It's You need to have something the customers can go to so they feel comfortable where they can find out about your business. They can find out about what you do, your processes, and what you offer. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want to have just your Google listing, but you don't have nothing to fall back on where customers can't see. They like to be visual. They like to see what they're going to get into. So you want to make sure you get your website, and if you don't have the capital to bill or to pay somebody to bill you one, get your free a free website. You can actually get one from the Google Business Profile. They have a free one, but I recommend using something like Wix. It's free. Um, you can use it until you can't get you one that's better, or if you got the money, you know you can pay somebody. You know what I'm saying, do you a, a top notch website. Number four, yard signs. Yard signs are huge if you just starting out man i'm not just starting out and i still use uh, yard signs so yard signs uh you can get them from anywhere you can from using marketing you can get them from um you know your local places uh i got a link on my uh descriptions all my all videos where you can get your uh, where you can get your yard signs um i buy 100 yard signs at a time with the stake and i buy the 18 by 24 uh, size uh, yard signs and those work great for me. I mean, the the, the return on investment is, is the best so far with yard signs. So yard signs, you can put them anywhere. I'm not telling you where to put them. 
because <laughs> I know everywhere is different, but you know, you can put them in the high traffic areas to get calls. Yes, they're gonna get pulled up, but who cares? You paying like $2 and 60 cents, $3 a sign. So if they pull a couple up, who cares? If you book two, two three jobs out of a hundred signs, you'll make your money back plus more. So it is what it is. At number five, we're gonna go with flyers. So flyers, uh, what I use them for is to do my five around. So my five around is when I do a property, I go around the five houses around the property that I clean and I put those flyers at those properties. And all that does is when one customer gets clean, the neighbor's gonna see it. So they're gonna wanna know who cleaned that. If you can't leave your yard sign at uh, the customer's house, you know, at least they'll know, well, this guy was just here. You know, he left his card or he left his flyer, you know what I'm saying? So they can give you a call. So I always do my five around, always keep flyers on me. Number six, business cards. Always keep them on you, man. No matter where you go. I mean, those things are cheap. <laughs> They're very cheap. So always keep business cards on you. Pass them around to everybody and anybody, man. I mean, you're not losing nothing. Um, you know, anytime I meet somebody, I'm telling them, hey, I own a pressure washing business. Here's my card if you ever need some, or if anybody else that you know needs services, tell them to give me a call. So business cards are huge. Uh, some places even let you uh, leave them like in a little, a little area, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, bulletin board, all that, whatever. So um, make sure you always got your business card on you and uh, pass them out everywhere. Number seven, uh, we're going to go with branding. Branding meaning, um, you know, shirts. You know, you want to be out there working in a T-shirt, white T-shirt. Nobody knows your business name. Uh, they don't know when you put it up to the customer's house. They're not sure who you are. You know, you look a little sketchy, you know. Some, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> you want to make sure you have something that represents your company. You know what I'm saying? Whether, it, whether it's a shirt, whether it's hats. Uh, it could be a magnet on, I'm saying magnet on your, your truck or your van or uh, it could be pens. It could be anything, you know, some, something to represent your business so people know who you are and what you do. Um, you know, I got hoodies and stuff for me. You know, I got hoodies and stuff like that. I wear, uh, you know, I give them, the, I give them out to customers sometimes if they ask, uh, shirts, I give them out to. So your branding goes a long way. So and when you're off, when you're not working, you know, hey, man, I, sometimes I put one of my shirts on, I go do my errands. It is what it is, you know, that's free advertising. So definitely get your branding right and always, always advertise your business. Number eight, you want to go with social media. Social media is huge. You already know, man, 2022, uh, everything is all social, me uh, social media related. So Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Nextdoor, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, all those right there are huge. So make sure you're always posting your business out there. Not that it only helps you getting your name out there, but there's a thing called citation. Uh, we don't want to get too deep in that, but citation is pretty much where your business is online. It's like your reputation. The more places you're listed, online the more trusted your you know the google or you know what i'm saying search engines is prone to show you so if you listed on all those places you know what i'm saying the more better it is so citation i mean uh so um social media is very big so stay active on social media uh i pretty much post anytime i post on my google business profile i do the same thing with social media with facebook and instagram and linkedin and uh, stuff like that, I always, I always post on those to the same day or alternate days. Number nine, you got boots on the ground. You'll have no capital, so, you know, you, you can't really be picky. The jobs are not just gonna come to you, so you gotta go out there and get them. So whether that means you gotta go door knocking or, you know, walk into businesses and talk to property managers, you know, managers or whoever you can talk to so you can get your foot in the door and get some leads coming. Um, I know some people don't like the door knocking. I personally never 
done it before, not knocking it. Um, but that's a great way to get your business out there. If you're a good salesman, man, I know a lot of guys that know how to do that. Real good at door knocking. Um, that's a great way to start getting business if you, let me say you don't have the capital starting out. All right, number 10, you're gonna have paid ads. So paid ads, you know, it's like paying for like Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, uh, anything that you gotta run a campaign for and uh, put your money out there. Uh, I didn't have no luck running Facebook ads. I ran some. I know some people that got great returns on them. Um, but me, maybe I was doing something wrong. I even took a class on it and then it worked for me. But I know it works. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to knock it. I know it works. I'm going to just say I did it wrong. But Facebook ads definitely works. Um, Google ads, of course. But you already know with Google ads, you're going to have to have a good little budget per day for you to see your, um, your results. But you will get leads. Uh, on on Google for sure. So with that said, man, that's a you no know, ten little tips, you know, just to help you guys out. If you haven't tried them, um, go ahead and give them a try. Uh, it's a lot of ways you can get money out there, man. It's a lot of ways you can get your business out there. Um, you know, like Facebook, you can go on these, these uh, neighborhood groups free. They're free, and you can post your stuff. I mean, I'm not saying go in there and post it every day, but you can go in there and post it once a week. Uh, you can post it maybe once or every two weeks. Just join all the neighborhood groups that's around your town that you service, that you know of, and just, you know, go in there and interact with them and, uh, you know, just let them know what you do. And I'm, I'm guaranteeing you're going to get some jobs because I, I had plenty of jobs off those uh, free neighborhood groups on Facebook. I haven't spent, I, the money I spent, I didn't get no leads off of it, but on the free groups, <laughs> I get plenty of jobs. It's crazy. So yeah, man, so this is the whole thing. This is a nutshell of it, you know. I hope y'all appreciate the video. I hope y'all learn something. Um, you know, comment below, help other people out uh, on your experience and let them know what worked for you when you started out with no capital. So with that said, man, I appreciate y'all checking the video out. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.